She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. When I tell you that Kenya Moore picked the perfect <laughs> soundbite for that slow motion video because it describes this person and this situation perfectly, okay? Perfectly. Everything that she's been through with Milo and Milo hitting below the belt, she finally decided to see Milo for who she is and she moved on. After all the begging, the pleading, the desperation, the seeking attention just to get Kenya Moore attention, Kenya Moore finally said, okay, I will give her another chance. She's apologized enough and of course, she got that peach. She had to find a way to keep that peach after 150 years on the show and did not have a peach. And it took two housewives to no longer be there for her to finally get a peach. So of course, go after Kenya like everybody else and hopefully you get to keep your peach for another season. And that's exactly what Milo did. Milo is doing. Of course, we have to watch the new season to see how everything went down, to see if the edits are fair, and then we can go from there. Every time Milo has an interview, especially if it's an interview that has to do with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you already know who's going to be the center <laughs> and hot topic of course kenya Moore name is going to be all over the place of course kenya is going to be the first person they asked her about so when i saw that she was going to be on wendy i was like eh, i'm not going to review it i already know same old different day i really don't care however you have to give the people what they want. So after receiving a few DMs, are you going to review what Milo had to say? I'm like, sure, I'll talk about it. But I will absolutely be sounding repetitive because Milo didn't say anything new. Same old, different day. Blame everybody, blame Kenya, never taking accountability for her own actions. Projecting, 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 okay? Most of you have seen the interview, however. I'm just going to give a brief summary of what she had to say. Of course, she was on there with the man that Kenya Moore ran down and put in his place. You know his name. I don't have to say it. The image is on the screen, okay? So, of course, Milo comes on. You know, he asks her all the questions, but I'm going to fast forward to the Kenya part. Okay? Milo said that Kenya wasn't happy for her to get a peach. And then he responded, how can someone not be happy for you to get a peach? You know, and he's going on and on. And Milo is saying she wasn't happy. Kenya should have thrown her a peach party to celebrate that she finally got a peach. And then she went on to say, you know, Kenya is an Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius and you would think that you know we will be this force you know together and you know just be this powerhouse however i've tried and i've tried and i've tried but some people just don't know how to be a friend and i'm just like girl not you shading and reading yourself because i don't know what friend would ever think it would be a good idea to talk about someone mother not wanting them and for you to have mommy issues yourself i don't know what makes you think you can hit below the belt and say some of the most disgusting things and people are just supposed to roll over and be like yep i forgive you it's all good you want to apologize cool we don't have to rock with each other um you know marlo is who she is even when she said those things about my mom um and my mother not wanting me and you know i was this horrible person. I was a baby of three days old. Um, and for someone to stoop that low and to say that, you know, you were an unwanted child because you were not a, you know, a good person or something like that, um, to me, 
it's over for you. It's a wrap. That speaks to your character. That speaks to you just being um, saying and doing anything to hurt a person. Um, whenever I've said anything, hopefully it's in defense. And I can I have fact upon fact upon receipt upon receipt about how I defend myself. Um, people see what they want to see. But the facts are the facts. Um, so I do, I do um, only when I talk about people, people have a lot to say about me all the time. But when I do come after people that come for me first, I only talk about facts. I never, in the history of the six years I've been on Real Housewives of Atlanta, all of the things I've ever said about anyone, anyone that I've ever repeated out of my mouth or said has been a fact. And that's on don't come for me unless I sent for you. Okay. She said six. That right there explains how many years it's been since that Instagram life. It's been a few years because we are all aware that Kenya been there longer than six years. I recorded that Instagram live a few years ago. And even to this day, you can still hear the hurt in Kenya voice when she referenced that situation. So when Mala goes in these interviews and pretend like she was this perfect angel and didn't do anything and Kenya just doesn't know how to be a friend and Kenya just supposed to forget all of the disgusting things she's done. And I'm not saying Kenya doesn't clap back or Kenya is a scent, but Kenya is not hitting below the belt to the point where she's trying to crush you. And the perfect clap back would have been in that very moment. And what does that say about your mom who neglected you and you ended up in foster care? That would have been the perfect and epic clap back. But that was one of the moments my support for Kenya grew stronger. Because even though she had the perfect clap back to come back and humble and shut Milo down because you can't be this delusional. Like you really have to be crazy on a different level to have mommy issues, to end up in foster care, but then have the nerve to speak on anyone mommy issues but it speaks to kenya character that she did not clap back with that and everyone who knew marlo's story and history just completely skipped over that glossed over that kenya had the stage set for her and she had the perfect clap back but she chose the high road i'm not going to use your hurt against you because then what does that say about me what does that say about me if I stoop to your level and throw your mother not being in your life back in your face? Kenya could have also hurt Milo's feelings by saying, but the difference between you and I is that my grandmother stepped up and took me in and raised me into this beautiful and intelligent woman that I am today. Where was your family that made you end up in foster care? I'm not throwing these things in Milo's face. I'm just saying these are all of the different examples and ways that Kenya could have ended and destroyed Milo in that moment. But she didn't. And my respect grew for her to a different level. Now, I did hear from Candy in one of her interviews that Milo's mother will be allegedly on this season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Apparently, her mother got her act together, getting her act together, and she and Milo are going to reunite. So, we shall see if Milo let the whole mother situation go, or is she going to hit below the belt again? Because we all know what happened a few seasons ago when Kenya was seeking closure and went looking for her mother, and her mother said, you know what, a few people were able to figure out who I am. But the general, you know, the public doesn't know who I am. Do I really want my job, my livelihood, and all of those things to get blown up by putting my face on national television? I mean, she could have even asked Bravo to blur her face and change her voice. But she was like, I want no parts of it. I gave her up and I'm moving on. Yes, Kenya mother allegedly did send clothes to Brooklyn. If you go to the RHOA playlist, you will see that video. I'm not going to insert it in here because I've already talked about it. But my point is, after all of these years, if Milo's mother is coming on the show, I hope 
the whole mother situation is over and she's not about to throw shade saying you know my mother is here and you already know the rest okay also while i was editing this video i received at least over 10 different dms of different links of Milo doing other interviews and at least Kenya interviews they asked her about Milo and then they talk about other things all of Milo interviews all of the headlines is Kenya 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 Milo have the nerve to say Kenya is a has-been even though Kenya came on this show holding a peach she did not have to wait a decade to get one she doesn't know where Kenya gets her money from, even though Kenya had a net worth and been Kenya before there was a real housewife of Atlanta. Kenya had her products in Sally's and CVS. Kenya is still acting. Kenya is doing her thing. Now I understand that was Milo's attempt to clap back because that's the top question she always get asked. Where do you get your money from and all of that? And it looks like the interviewer, you know, kind of brought that up. So that was her attempt to shade Kenya. But Milo can't read, Milo can't shade, and that's the reason why her only other option is to hit below the belt. Because what else is there? Everything she thought she was reading Kenya about sounded stupid and <laughs> fell flat. Like, girl, what are you even talking about? How can you even talk about Kenya more of all people, the woman that you're using right now for your storyline? How can you even come for her? And then Mala had the nerve to use the word delusional in one of her interviews. There's no reason to even do a separate video about that one because I just spent over eight minutes talking about the whole mother situation milo is the queen of delusional and sometimes like i just said in this same video she's crazy because how can you with a straight face come for someone mother not being in their life yours wasn't either how delusional do you have to be and you have the nerve to sit in an interview and call kenya more delusional <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reason why the title I wrote that she basically dragged and shitted herself in all of her interviews. She's embarrassing herself. But you know what? Even though I'm not doing a separate review on those interviews, social media is dragging her by whatever little edges she have left after her surgery. She needs to go and get her some more edges, but she's being dragged so badly from those interviews. And I might do a social media reaction. Let's move on. The two major things that really upset Kenya and, and that I do not think they will ever come back from is the mom and Miles is saying that she wasn't pregnant. Bravo, Steven, everybody. Please, just so that y'all won't be gave this girl this money and thinking that she's uh, pregnant, have her come up there and pee on the EPT. She need to pee on the stick. You need to have her go in the bathroom. She need to make sure she don't have nothing on. She need to just be naked. Kenya is so sick. She might have it in her ears. Have her just naked, gloves on, just like she's taking a drug test and pee on the stick before she been to con somebody about uh, being pregnant. Lord, I, and if she plan on that, I'd be so mad. And who's in the picture holding my leg? The same adorable baby, little girl, that she claimed Kenya was faking. At what point do you catch yourself and say, you know what? Even if I'm not here for this person, I wish you well. At what point do you even catch yourself to say, okay, I'm doing too much. I need to stop. And that's the reason why Kenya will continue to be blessed. Because even after all of the disgusting things Malo have said in the media and to Kenya face, Kenya still allow this woman to be not only be in her presence, but allow her daughter to be this close for this woman to even touch her child. And then for her to turn around and do this. But I'm only talking about these top two things because these were and are the most important things in Kenya life. Kenya seeking closure, which, you know, she's good. She's accepted whatever that situation is, is going to be. And Kenya wanting to be a mom. And each time Milo made sure she hit below the belt. And after all of that, Kenya still gave her a chance. So I don't know how many chances she's expecting from Kenya at this point. So I don't blame Kenya for saying, you know what? I don't want your apologies anymore. I'm going to move on. I also do not blame Kenya for not tolerating the nonsense. 
you disrespect me, you stab me in the back, you cross me, friendship is over. No more giving chances. I've been nice enough. And I'm here for it. And that's the reason why I spent more time talking about the mom situation because, I mean, Kenya is not someone who even acknowledged these girls on Instagram Live. And years ago, you clearly saw the clip of her on Instagram Live referencing that situation. So basically, in every interview, Milo dragged herself, read herself for filth. Nothing to see here. Same old different day. I can't stand on my own two feet. I can't prove to people why I have a peach. So of course, let me go after Kenya Moore because that's the only thing I can do. I'm going to include the end of the interview, whatever else Milo had to say, but I just had to throw in there that yes, I have seen clips of the different interviews and no, I will not be reviewing them separately. I'm just throwing it in here. She basically read herself. So for Milo to go in these interviews and pretend and for the person interviewing her knowing the show because he watched knowing that disgusting and below the belt and low down things that Milo said to Kenya and for him to not say okay now Milo I'm not trying to pick sides I'm just doing my job we are not going to sit here and pretend in front like you didn't say some things to cross the line to really cut Kenya deep but like I said if the editing is fair then we shall see how that situation went from them hugging and laughing in one of the clips that I've seen going around social media to where they are now. And hopefully that clip does make the show because it was when Kenya was on Dancing with the Stars and she came to Atlanta for rehearsal. Milo also said that Kenya isn't a supportive friend, but I remembered that when she opened whatever showroom, Kenya was there. Not only did Kenya show up for her check, but Kenya didn't have to post nothing on social media. Kenya did. I didn't see your BFF, the one who said in several interviews that you shouldn't get a peach, but you're still friends with her. Right. I didn't see her reposting your business. Kenya even wore an earring from your business and tagged your business because you are a stylist. But yet she's not a supportive friend. She didn't have to post anything on her social media page for you. Nothing. But anyways... Everything when it comes to Milo and Kenya history, all of the Instagram lives, everything. You can find everything on the RHOA playlist I have on this channel because what I've realized is when and if I keep inserting all the clips to make my point and to show receipts, I end up with a 30 minutes video of content that most of you have already seen because I've talked about these things in previous videos. So just go to that playlist to watch them. Also, regardless of their differences, this time around, Kenya absolutely said, yeah, Milo deserves a peach, especially now that we no longer have, you know, two housewives. Why invite two new people when you already have someone who's been here for a decade and put in the work, give her a chance, okay? Kenya, Candy, they said give her a chance. Even though before it was like, oh, yeah, we're not sure. But at the end of the day, they don't make the final decision, but they play a part in it. And the woman who you are listening to, who's telling you, go after Kenya, drag Kenya, you saw what happened to that woman, right? That woman is currently suing Bravo. And why is that woman case messed up? Because of her hate and anger towards Kenya messed up her case. And she's not even here anymore. And you think that's the person you should take advice from and come after Kenya again? Every single person who's ever gone against Kenya, the rest is history. We have all noticed and seen how their story ends. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. And here my final loves. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.